Okay, it struck me that um, the situation uh, regarding musicians seeing me now has become a bit complicated. I uh, used to see patients privately, either with insurance or self-pay, and I used to see patients as NHS-funded patients at Hendon and Blackheath. But I don't do that anymore because that system wasn't working very well. It was a bit short of money and the systems were falling short of a good standard in many ways. And we couldn't attract anaesthetists and the support for it in the admin department was very poor. So I now only work in the private sector and I see many musicians in my clinic. In fact, about a third of my patients are musicians. However, I appreciate that most musicians don't have healthcare insurance, and I appreciate that many musicians don't have very much money, sadly, which is another subject. And so I have been trying to think of ways in which I could see, uh, continue to see musicians uh, without too much financial difficulty for them. It turns out that there are some very generous charities that will help musicians. The best place to get advice about these is the British Association for Performance Arts Medicine, or BAPAM.org.uk. I will put that in the post. And BAPAM, as they're called, uh, are very good at signposting people and helping people to uh, find funding from charitable organisations, other organisations such as Help Musicians or the Royal Society of Musicians or the Independent Society of Musicians, and there are others. Other performers might get some funding from Equity or Actors, and there are some other organisations to help dancers and other performers, circus acts, etc. So uh, it's a complicated situation. Uh, I hope that people can find their way through that difficult process. There are forms to be filled in. They can be a bit lengthy. They need to do a means test so that they aren't giving money to people who uh, could fund it themselves. And they also need letters of guidance because these are charities so they want to know that if they're going to spend any money, it needs to be well spent and it's likely to be an effective intervention rather than wasting charitable money on in interventions that are not likely to be helpful. And I'm always very careful to make sure that the spend is as effective a bang for buck as possible. I'll put some links at the end of this uh, and that should give you enough guidance to help.